In this video we're going to have a look at expanding double brackets, so expanding something like x plus 3, x plus 2. Now the first thing we've got to remember is that what you're doing with these two brackets is multiplying them together. So in there, it's not written in, but there is actually an invisible multiplication sign. Now there are several ways that we can tackle this question. The first way that we can do it is like your grid method for multiplication. So what you can do is you can draw yourself a little grid, like that, and then split your brackets up. So your first bracket is made of x and then positive 3. Your second bracket is made of x and positive 2. And we are multiplying those two together. So x times x gives us x squared. Positive 3 times x gives us plus 3x. Positive 2 times x gives us plus 2x and positive 3 times positive 2 gives us positive 6. And then we've just got to combine the terms that we've got in there. So we've got x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. And we can make that a little bit more simple by combining these x terms here. So that's x squared plus 5x plus 6. There are another couple of methods that you can use. They all work exactly the same, so it's whichever one you prefer. Um, there's also the method FOIL, which tells you um, which terms to multiply to make sure that you include all of them. So FOIL tells you that when you've got your brackets, you need to multiply the first two terms. So x times x gives us x squared. The outside terms, so x times positive 2 gives us positive 2x. The inside terms, positive 3 times x gives us positive 3x. And then the two last terms, positive 3 times positive 2 gives us positive 6. And then in exactly the same way we can combine our x terms to give us x squared plus 5x plus 6. Your third method is the one that I call the smiley face method because it looks a little bit like a smiley face when you've drawn it. So there's our brackets again. Okay, and what we need to do is we need to multiply x by x, that gives us x squared. We need to multiply 3 by 2, so that gives us positive 6. We need to multiply 3 by x, which gives us 3x. And we need to multiply x by 2, which gives us positive 2x. Okay, so again, we can combine our x terms. We've got x squared plus 6 plus 5x. And although the 6 and the 5x are a different way round to the other two answers, it's still exactly the same because I could just rewrite this as x squared plus 5x plus 6 if I really wanted to. So all three of those methods are equivalent. You get the same answer using any one of those, so it's pick your favourite and go with it.